welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. This is it. Let's get to some news, guys. I read that Jeff Bezos may partner with Jay-Z to buy the NFL's Washington Commanders. <laughs> Bezos might be the only person who has to stop and be like, wait, do I already own a football team? <laughs> I'm rooting for Bezos and Jay-Z. I never thought I'd say this, but uh, after the last few weeks, I just want some normal billionaires. Don't you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't they just be normal? One of the big stories today that I was reading in the headlines that was funny, Starbucks just rolled out their holiday menu and their 25th anniversary holiday cups. Yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere, yeah. We're so starved for good news, we're now celebrating the anniversary of a cup. <laughs> we're like, 25 years of a cup! Oh, my gosh! Tariq, you see this cup? Let me text you this cup. News. <laughs> That's right. Starbucks just rolled out their holiday menu and cups. They even released a special message. Uh, check this out. The holidays are here, and Starbucks is excited to bring back all your holiday favorites, like holiday cups, peppermint mochas, Michael Buble CDs, holiday cups, peppermint mochas, Michael Buble CDs, holiday cups, peppermint mochas, Michael Buble CDs. Oh, my God. It's only November. What are we doing? No, don't question it. Remember, must use Christmas to sell coffee. So happy holidays from Starbucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> well, get this. Today, Netflix launched their new ad-supported plan for only $7 a month. But this is interesting, though. Apparently, some Netflix shows have exclusive sponsors. Did you hear about that? I'll show you what I mean. First up, Grace and Frankie is uh, exclusively sponsored by Activia. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's exclusive to the show. Yeah. Squid Game is sponsored by Black Friday at Best Buy. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to understand yeah, it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, next up, the, the Watcher is sponsored by this photo of Senator Mark Kelly. Here you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK, buddy, OK. Next up, Stranger Things is sponsored by October Kanye. There you go. <laughs> Stranger Things. Wow. Next up, Dahmer is sponsored by Impossible Meat. There you go. Oh. That's... <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> and finally, Bridgerton is sponsored by Brookstone Back Massagers. Well, that is it. Be back. Uh, switching gears last night at a train station in Washington, D.C., President Biden delivered a speech about protecting democracy. And uh, normally, when a guy on a train platform is yelling about the country being doomed, you just avoid eye contact and keep moving. <laughs> Some more political news. I heard that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is reconsidering a presidential run in 2024 because he doesn't want to fight former President Trump for the nomination. That's a bummer. We were so close to a showdown of Ronald versus Donald. <laughs> Speaking of elections, the midterms are this Tuesday, and there are several key races around the country. And while these races can get heated, it's important to remember what the candidates actually agree on. Here, let me show you what I mean. First up, John Fetterman and Dr. Oz are facing off in Pennsylvania, but they both can agree at that they should play Uncle Fester and Gomez in the Adams Family <laughs> reboot. Certain things you got to be able to agree on. Yeah. Next up, uh, Blake Masters is facing off against uh, Mark Kelly in Arizona. They can both agree that they shouldn't tell anyone they're secretly in the Blue Man Group. <laughs> up next in Nevada, Susie Lee is facing off against April Becker. They can both agree that they'd like to speak to a manager. <laughs> I'd just, like just like to speak to a manager. Here's another one. Angie Craig is facing off against Tyler Kissner in Minnesota, but they can both agree that they should join forces to host an HGTV show about <laughs> fixer-uppers. Angie, there's no way you're gonna get this done in three days. <laughs> Up next. Uh, Rudy Salas is facing uh, David Valadeo. They're facing off in California. They can both agree that they're literally the same person except one wears glasses. <laughs> What? Next up in Pennsylvania, Matt Cartwright is facing off against Jim Bognet. They can both agree, one who smelt it and one who dealt it. That's, <laughs> That's odd. And finally, uh, Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker are facing off in Georgia. They can both agree, no one knows what the hell is even going on anymore. <laughs> this is a, it's all bizarre.
Well, some entertainment news. Yesterday, the new trailer for Avatar 2, The Way of Water, was released. And as you guys probably heard, they shot the third movie as well at the same time. So today, they released the trailer for Avatar 3. Yeah, take a look at this thing. The way of water connects all things. The unforgettable characters of Pandora return, like Jake and Neytiri, along with majestic new underwater heroes, such as Bosco, Waffles, Patches, and introducing Noodles, Avatar 3, Wet Dogs. We spent all our money on Avatar 2, so we just took pictures of some dogs in a pool. That looks good. You guys see this? Uh... Elon Musk announced that uh, he's working with Twitter engineers on a reboot of Vine. Yeah, I could be ready by the end of the year. When Viners heard Vine might make a comeback, they were like, Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> Meanwhile, kids who only grew up with TikTok are hearing about Vines and thinking, What are those? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most people... <laughs> Most people haven't thought about Vine in a while, so they were really surprised by the news. Kind of like... <laughs> Some people think Elon Musk is making too many changes over at Twitter and getting carried away. Kind of like... But most people are excited for Vine to return, so here's hoping Elon doesn't mess everything up. Kind of like... Nice, Ron. I sneeze. I have a lot of Nice, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen to this. Next month, the model for E.T. used in the movie is expected to sell at auction for $3 million. Whoa. That's kind of cool, but I don't know who's going to buy that, though. You know? I'm going to buy him! <laughs> Excuse me, sir? I, I said, I'm going to buy me an E.T. I, I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. I can use that dang E.T. for all sorts of things. <laughs> like, like what? Well, I figure I can rest my coffee mug on his head. I can put a wig on him, take a picture, and make it my profile picture on my MySpace. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think people use MySpace anymore. Yeah, I got all sorts of plans for uses for an E.T. I can put him next to the dishes and make it look like he's washing the dishes. <laughs> oh, I can take him to a baseball game, tell the stadium it's his birthday, then get him on the Jumbotron, have him say, Happy Birthday, E.T. on it. And then while everyone is distracted wishing E.T. a happy birthday, I can steal a bunch of hot dogs from the concession stand. Then I got my dinner for a whole year. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a plan, but where, where, you get, where are you going to get $3 million to pay for it? Well, don't worry about it. Just check me out on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Finally, <laughs> I saw that today is National Sandwich Day. Yeah! That's today. <laughs> National Sandwich Day. Hot dog, hot dog vendors were like, do we celebrate this or... Hey.